the the silver or maybe gray jumpsuits the the uh, grayish complexions um he also said that on their heads they were wearing some type of helmets like he was said that they wore they wore t- some type of helmets and they were also carrying as, uh, some sort of device uh like, i think he described it as like a cube or something like that that he said what he was okay. told later was a, a kind of translator device um, which is something we've heard of before <laughs> that we've had uh you know extraterrestrial yeah. encounters where they uh, uh the the beings being seen you know, have some type of device which is there people are unable to identify because of course you wouldn't be able to yeah. identify it's alien but then um but uh perhaps it may have functioned it's just a bluetooth it's just a bluetooth speaker (laughs) that's what it is that they're holding on to right and then they they type in american and you know it's we come in peace i mean we have those types of devices uh now like those little translator boxes or i remember there was like a kickstarter for a couple of these uh, a while ago that you have ones that will translate in real time it's basically it's basically like a google voice like dot and then like or whatever and then you you talk into it and it will translate your uh yeah and whatever we are not far language. off we are not far off from this technology being like perfected not perfected but like v- very good right at, at least with you know within earth languages and probably languages it probably does better with languages that are you know similar and in, in roots and, and whatever but um so this footage that uh that Shardle described that he had seen and and was apparently promised uh to emanager and and sandler um you know that was all set to go in there so uh uh you know uh emanager and 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 sandler went about like producing this this documentary um they got the the title ufos past present and future and they got a lot of big names to kind of come on and and be on this like it is a uh, the documentary was they got the narrator to be uh, rod serling of twilight zone fame you know Ooh, yes um great that's like i mean right there it's like you, it, you're on board like I'll, i'd be like yeah yeah i'll watch it <laughs> like it's got rod serling in it neat um and then they got uh it's like it's jacques vaille is on there uh he, he he i think he brings up like he has an entire section about talking about the the yep. ancient astronaut hypothesis um mm-hmm. it's kind of a big overarching um a big overarching documentary about the entire ufo phenomenon and uh i mean there's and it's it's well produced it's something that it's like it's got a lot of like weight behind it there's something I mean, and it's I'll very strange you, for that maybe not very typical for that period of time i'll be honest with you though i'm not really that impressed you said big names like this is a fucking sadler production but i didn't even rob schneider's not in it at least <laughs> like he's in fucking everything he does what with the guy he's that plays the whole movie doesn't even yeah, have norm mcdonald in it or yeah <laughs> like what the hell's going on here steve buscemi at least <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> cut his freaking head off and, uh, yeah huh? you can't do it yeah that's what you can do <laughs> it yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what he says to the aliens right that's yeah. that's the that's the you know if you think about it they're not this description is not far off of steve buscemi that's fair what about that right. one guy with the lazy eye that's always in everything too oh um, yeah i know he's not, he you know no talking about, right yeah this guy. he's got no chin you're right yeah he's got no chin <laughs> is this just a sandler jonathan loran is his name yeah i did not know his name he's not that either. guy that in like in uh what's the what's the football one? water boy water boy where he's like water boy yeah, 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 man, man. no no that's not him Oh no no, he's the no, guy. That's that's uh that's fucking uh Jesus, the guy from Oh my god, from Boy Meets World, uh, his best friend. What's his best friend's name? Sean? <laughs> Sean, Sean Hunter. Sean Hunter's dad. That's who that guy is. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Fuck, I hope I didn't fuck that up. I <laughs> I've no, always thought don't, that. Don't look it up. That's that's no, it's that's fact. Canon. Don't worry that's about it. It's canon. That's canon in the ATT verse <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so now, according to Emmenager, like, uh, you know, the, the military was 
totally on board with this. You know, he was getting interviews with some big wigs and things like this, getting a lot of uh, good material, solid material for this uh, documentary. And they even took him to go visit the landing site uh, of where they had seen this. So to in, and to it actually checked where, uh, like Zell said before, like these these extraterrestrials were reported to have stayed and and met with uh, U.S. officials for like three days, and they said they. And Eminegger said they took him to where the vehicle was kept. Now, they promised him about 3,200 feet of film of that UFO landing, of the one that was described by Shardle. And it's crazy to me because I had to think about that. I was like, when I first read that, I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's film. Because it's like, it's not like we have eight hours of footage. <laughs> It's like we've got a, a quarter two mile. minutes of footage. We got a quarter mile of film for you. <laughs> well, the, well, the crazy thing too. We got let's just explore that a little bit more because what I was reading it says that those aliens actually ex- explained those aliens explained while they're on Earth they're like tracking a different ET race which they were unfamiliar with and it brought them to Earth. So goes the story. And then. <laughs> I don't, but it doesn't say what who the other alien race was or what their alien race name was either. Are they on Earth? Yeah, they said there's they another ET them. race, another ET race that they tracked to Earth that what they were exploring on Earth. And they, Man, and and that's an interesting thought too, Zell, because it's like, to be honest, like if if you if we beca- say if we became spacefaring and we were you know could traverse you know punch holes through space and time and we were space we're moving around just flying around. Yeah, and and we and we came for found evidence that of another race as advanced as us. The odds are you would want to track them because you would want to find them, right? You would want to find them and make contact, either to find out where they're from, or you know find out what they're doing, what what they're about before they find where you're from. Do you know what I mean? Like because we've we've talked about like the dark forest before, where it's like. You would want to be, you know what I mean? Like, if you find another race, you would want to be lurking and following them, finding out what they're up to rather than it reverse in case they're hostile. Absolutely. Well, and, you know, like, what are they doing on Earth? What's on Earth that they want? Yeah. What's the purpose of that? Because uh, right? there's obviously something on there that they want, too. Right? Trying to hybridize an, and take over our planet from the inside. It, it, basically, have. they're space investigators. They're like, hey, have you guys met anyone else? <laughs> like that's what that's what it kind of feels like they're doing. Who else like, is around here? Who have you? Who else? What other spaceships have you talked to? Right? Where'd they go? Where are they from? Zeta Reticuli? We want to know, right? Like it seems like it kind of it, it's a very interesting thought that it seems like these aliens are on the hot on the heels of of something else. And what were they doing? Who did they contact? Right? Did they make contact? It, it's a very interesting, uh, you know, kind of thought that these ones are are friendly enough to come and then be trying to find out what this other advanced race was up to or is up to or where they are. Yeah. Cause the, like this, let's call them the friendly ETs pretty much were described as kind of like scientists or explorers mm-hmm. kind of seemed like they were just gallivanting around the galaxy, <laughs> looking for uh, different planets, tracking new species of maybe sentient beings or intelligent beings. Yeah. But then, so he never got the footage is where we're at right, right now. So he was promised all this footage. He, he was promised he all this footage, it. and they, they like it seemed to be, like, as they got closer to finishing the production, like, this this was going to be the big reveal. They kind of planned, I guess, Eminegger and Sandler, you know, when they, they uh, yeah. plotted this it out. This was the get-to-the-chopper moment. Right, this was going to be the final big reveal at the end of the, uh, you know, the final piece of compelling evidence um, at the end of the documentary. But they they didn't seem that the the military was providing it to them you know they keep calling like you know where's this footage like are you guys going to get it to us and emanager even took it upon himself to go to uh, Wright patterson air force base and talk to one of his own military area 52 yeah his area 52 um and talk to one of his own military contacts so uh by the name of colonel george weinbrenner and he asked him, you know, what happened to the footage. So I assume Weinbrenner had some type of knowledge of, of this footage. And well, he was probably in contact with him. Like, Hey, like, you know, we've got this, this here. And he's like, Oh yeah, I've heard of this. Like, so I, I imagine he's kind of verifying this story with other connections as he's, 
as they're pursuing this story you know what i mean like i they're he's probably like yeah they're saying this and he's like yeah that checks out i i've heard of this uh you're on the right track so the story goes when uh emmenager asked him you know kind of pushed him on the topic of, of getting this footage apparently weinbrenner went on this this big rant that didn't seem to have anything to do uh with getting the footage to emmenager for the production uh it was a uh, he was just yelling stuff hey guys thanks for watching I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.